Sunday, October 7, 2018, 12 a.m. 74 degrees Fahrenheit, 3 a.m. 72 degrees Fahrenheit, 5-day forecast. Brett Kavanaugh's wife and daughters look on as he is sworn in as Supreme Court justice after Senate confirms him amid protesters' cries and a presidential thumbs-up you don't give power to an angry left-wing mob. That's what they have become, gloating Trump lays into destructive Democrats for failing to derail Kavanaugh nomination another gross day in the history of our country, Chelsea Handler, Jim Carrey and Ellen DeGeneres lead celebrity reactions as Trump congratulates Brett Kavanaugh on SEOT US Christine Ford does not want Kavanaugh impeached if Democrats take the House says accuser's attorney, who says she has no regrets about speaking out how cocaine-addicted, sexually rapacious and violent blues singer Ike forced Tina Turner to go to a brothel on their wedding night. And why she now blames him for her son's suicide talk of the town, stars flock to Harry and Meghan's country pile his newly wed prince swaps late night partying with society chums for long walks with his new wife and friends, lawyer representing woman who claims she was raped by Ronaldo reveals she has been contacted by another alleged victim is this Banksy? Elusive artist may have been caught on camera videoing his own $1.2 million artwork being shredded just moments after triggering a remote device the moment iconic $1.2 million Banksy painting girl with balloon self D-E-S-T-R-U-C-T-S a secret shredder that the gorilla artist built into the frame is activated moments after it was sold at Sotheby's Banksy's disappearing artwork, how paintings by the secretive artist have been painted over, knocked down and stolen in the past how does Banksy earn his money? Secretive artist is thought to make millions a year through book and film royalties and selling his work through an agency Dolly Parton backs. The door while Kavanaugh was being sworn in, hours after interrupting his Senate confirmation hearing, but Trump laughs off their tiny numbers Trump's GOP opponents from 2016 clash over Kavanaugh's confirmation, Marco Rubio says gloating is terrible for America, John Kasich slams the toxic process but Lindsey Graham gloats he's not tired of winning well make sure everyone in Maine remembers how she voted, donors and activists raise millions in bid to oust Susan Collins in the 2020 Senate election as payback for supporting Kavanaugh you are a betrayer of women. Celebrities react to Senator Susan Collins' support of Brett Kavanaugh which effectively ensured his seat on the United States Supreme Court. Trump claims anti-Kavanaugh protesters are paid professionals with expensive signs. Christine Ford 100% got the wrong man says Trump as he claims new justice. Brett Kavanaugh is a great talent and a great man with a squeaky clean past. The people of Alaska will never forgive her. Trump attacks Lisa Murkowski for being the only Republican to vote against Kavanaugh as Sarah Palin hints she could challenge her in 2022. Friend of Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, who says she told him about alleged assault by Brett Kavanaugh in 2016, criticizes FBI for not interviewing him as he releases corroborating evidence Amy Schumer slams trolls who blasted Emily Ratajkowski for not wearing a bra when they both got arrested for protesting the now-confirmed Brett Kavanaugh's Supreme Court nomination Christ died so that the mob wouldn't survive, Fox host compares Kavanaugh's SCOT U.S. hearing to Christ's crucifixion, which he says took place to end mob rule New York representative pledges to further investigate investigate Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh if he's confirmed and if Democrats win the House in November Brett Kavanaugh's confirmation to the Supreme Court is the closest vote for a SCOT U.S. judge since 1881 the program includes a new emphasis on house building to claim ground juries now have a responsibility on our shoulders to offer a home to millions the PM claimed in an article in the Observer that the end of austerity is in sight by Claire Anderson for Mile Online published 2002 Eastern Daylight Saving Time the 6th of October 2018 updated 2002 Eastern Daylight Saving Time the 6th of October 2018 Teresa May has made a direct appeal for Labour voters to abandon Jeremy Corbyn and switch to her moderate Tory party. The Prime Minister insisted the Tories have a patriotic program, including a new emphasis on house building, as she tried to claim the middle ground of politics. Writing in The Observer, the PM said, I want voters who may previously have thought of themselves as Labour supporters to look at my government afresh. The Prime Minister insisted the Tories have a patriotic program, including a new emphasis on house building, as she tried to claim the middle ground of politics they will find a decent, moderate and patriotic program that is worthy of their support, Mrs May said. That in an era where traditional political allegiances count for less, the Tories now have a responsibility on our shoulders to offer a home to millions of former Labour voters who are uneasy about the party's leftward direction under Mr Corbyn.
The PM used the article to again claim that the end of austerity is in sight, responding to Mrs. May's pitch, Labour Party chairman Ian Lavery said, with the government about to impose some of their most brutal cuts yet on working people, Theresa May's claim that austerity is over is a con. Theresa May wants to secure the support of a group of Labour MPs to help pass any Brexit deals she secures from Brussels as she can no longer rely on her own divided party the Tories have spent their entire time in power running down our schools, local services and NHS, while gifting huge tax breaks to big business, the Prime Minister is clearly spooked, so is resorting to desperate pleas in an attempt to revive her failing administration. The British public won't be fooled. Advertisement female today don't miss.